I have been immersed in art since really young. Uh, my mom, Liz Fels, she studied art later in life. So I was a, a nursery school goer when um, she studied and loved being immersed in it and being inspired by her. She actually is one of the pioneer papermakers in South Africa. She brought the art of, well, the revival of the art of papermaking into South Africa. So I was very fortunate. I was involved in the, um, the starting of the, well, the research of the Witz, then the Witz Technicon papermaking department. I love, I love color and I love the sense of excitement and wonder. I mean, you just look at nature and you see the absolutely amazing color configurations and um, textures in color. There's velvet textures, there's dry, there's all sorts of, um, and, and the sense, the sensory aspects that go with, with color, to me, I find very exciting. Paper is very um, seductive as a medium. You can, it's got a translucency. You can have fun with it. You can think out of the box. The Kaiskama Art Project was founded in 2000 by Dr. Carol Baker, an absolutely amazing, humble, wonderful woman who started this project just by teaching a small group, a group of 15 women who were in dire need of earning an income in a poverty-stricken environment. And I just seemed to get more and more um, involved. And then Carol said to me one day, why, please, you know, don't, wouldn't you like to do this or that? And I said, oh, I'd love to be involved. I have started some ceramics as well. Um, I did also dabble in ceramics early on. I did an apprenticeship with um, Gillian Bickill. She had her own um, pug mill and um, glazes, so we were doing glaze tests and things. Paper might be the main medium, but there will be other elements to it. It won't only be paper, it could be paper clay. It could be um, uh, paper with stitching and um, other interventions, fabric. And uh, so, yeah, I think paper is still maybe the main medium, but one is excited by other possibilities.